Thus says the Lord that we are coming into the times of Moses, the time of Moses. Um, as you guys can see, we are entering into the end times and um, things are about to get real out here. So I hope you guys are prepared for this prophetic warning. Thus says the Lord. Excuse the noises in the background. Um, somebody's dog is barking outside, but I'm going to continue. If you guys don't know who Moses is, Moses was the lawgiver who met God face to face to receive the Ten Commandments after leading his people, the Hebrews, out of bondage in Egypt. So if you guys don't know who Pharaoh is, Pharaoh is a very wicked king that was the ruler of Egypt, and he kept God's children in bondage. And so uh, Moses was God's uh, disciple, servant, also prophet that had to give instructions to Pharaoh in order for Pharaoh to um, unharden his heart so he could release God's people. But as we know, Pharaoh was very um, stubborn, um, very cocky, very prideful, and he had a very stony, hardened heart. Um, if you guys don't remember when Moses was born, he was actually thrown in the river and um, his his family was trying to save him as a baby so he wouldn't get killed. And so um, he was actually raised in the Egyptian court by the by Pharaoh's daughter so that he could be saved as a as a baby. OK, so God is saying in this hour that you guys need to go to the store and buy olive oil and to pray and anoint the olive oil. Do not buy any anointing oil from anybody. Do not get it at the church or anything because you don't know um, what these people are praying over the oil. So it's just best to buy your own olive oil and learn how to anoint and pray over the olive oil. It's very simple to, um, to make anointed oil. All you have to do is buy some olive oil pray over it, plead the blood of Jesus over it, decree and declare um, Psalms 91, Isaiah 54, 17, and other uh, protection scriptures in the oil. And also pray blessings and other different types of um, scriptures that the Holy Spirit leads you to pray in the oil. That's what activates the oil into anointed oil. Amen. And I will do a video uh, specifically on how to really make anointed oil. I will also have in the description box and in the video, the scriptures to use, how to anoint your oil step by step and how to anoint your home. So that video will be coming very soon. Okay, God wants you guys to buy uh, olive oil and anoint the oil. Thus says the Lord to take heed to this word. Amen. Moses was a generational curse breaker. In Jeremiah 26, 5 through 6, the Lord sent out his prophets, his servants that he was rising up to give these warnings to the people. Remember, warning comes before destruction. And a lot of the children of God did not take heed. And when we don't take heed to God's word, you end up in a situation that you don't want to end up. So the Lord is saying, take heed to this word. Okay, the funny thing about it is... About a week or two ago, I went outside and I seen a receipt on the floor. And, um, well, not on the floor, on the ground, I'm sorry, outside. And it said Egypt on there. And I was like, ooh, Jesus, you speaking to me. We all know that Pharaoh was the ruler of Egypt. And we know that Moses was helping God's children come out of the land of the wilderness which is Egypt. And so I was like, "Oh God, you're talking to me. There's no there's there's no coincidence that you have me like looking on the ground and there's a receipt that said Egypt." Then let me tell y'all, 2 days later, something was like, "Oh, I want to watch a, you know, a Christian movie on YouTube." And I I see this cartoon Christian movie. I was like, "Oh, it looks interesting. Let me watch it." You guys, the movie was about Moses and Pharaoh. And I said, oh, Jesus, you are speaking. If this isn't confirmation, I don't know what this is. This is like prophetic. So first he gave me the receipt that said Egypt on it. And then he takes me to the cartoon movie of Moses and Pharaoh. 
then when I was watching the movie, I was like, ooh, God, you're, you're giving me confirmation of what you want me to tell the children of God. Seek the face of God like never before. Because God is going to give you guys revelations in these end times. Let me tell you, if you take heed to God's word and you be obedient and follow God's instructions in these end times, in the times of Moses that we're coming into, because it's going to be very crucial and very serious. We're going to see lots of plagues happening. We're going to see a lot of things take place, like very, very crucial, scary things that happen back in the biblical times. But if you are a follower of Christ and you're being obedient and following the instructions of God's true, genuine servants from the Lord, God said that when these things take place, you will be protected. You will be covered underneath the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says in Isaiah 10, 27, that God will destroy the yokes and the bondage off our necks and shoulder because of the anointing. Amen. God wants to set his children free out of bondage and captivity. And these end times, um, as you guys get the olive oil and anoint your homes, um, I'm going to do a video on how to make anointed oil. God is saying to pray over your homes and anoint your homes. In the movie and in the book of Exodus, uh, I believe it was Exodus chapter 12, verses 13 through 28, blood on the doorposts. So in the movie and in the in biblical times, uh, God gave instructions uh, to Moses and Moses told the, the people in Egypt, like, hey, um, God is telling you to take the lamb of the blood and mark your doorposts and pray over your homes because the death angel is getting ready to rise and it's going to be coming at your homes and doors. And those that don't follow the instructions of the Lord, they are going to end up dying. And so there was some people that followed Moses instructions from the Lord. And then there were some people that didn't. The people that did not obey, they lost their lives. This is why it's so important to be obedient. The Bible says in first Samuel, 1523 that disobedience is a sin of witchcraft so when you don't obey god nothing good comes out of it so when god took me to exodus chapter 12 verses 13 through 28 blood on the doorposts this is him reminding me to tell you guys when you guys get the olive oil and pray over the oil he wants you to anoint the outside of your homes the doorposts windows ceilings bedrooms mailbox grass backyard everything god wants you to anoint your homes and plead the blood of jesus over it so when the times get worse um and when the times of darkness comes because there's going to be something something very dark is getting ready to enter on this earth you guys and you have to be prepared start stacking up with um flashlights batteries uh cases of water canned goods all these things start preparing to uh, plant your own garden, stock up on cow manure, um, plant seeds and all this stuff because it, it's about to get real. Amen. Pharaoh was a wicked king and God kept saying, let my people go. Let my people go. Wrath and judgment on our enemies. God is giving me Exodus chapter 10, verse 21 through 29 as well. The three days of darkness. And when God does the wrath and judgment on our enemies during these times of Moses, our enemies would be the Egyptians. So what God is saying in this hour is that prepare your hearts, prepare your hearts, seek the face of God like never before, because I'm telling you right now, the only thing we have is God. And in this hour, if you don't know how to quote scriptures by heart, that is not good. Y'all need to dive deep and have a true intimate relationship with the Lord because something very, very dark is about to happen to the point where we're going to have to be in our homes and pray and fast like never before. Now, I can't give you the time and the hour when this is going to take place, but I know it's going to be soon because God was urging me to get this word out. We are coming into the time of Moses 
please take heed to this prophetic word. Like I said, for those that follow this instructions, you will be protected by God to when scary things happen, uh, killings, wrath and judgment, wars. Um, when the death angel comes knocking on your door, you will be protected because you follow the instructions of the Lord. I hope you guys take heed to this word. I love you. God bless you.